What is up ladies and gents, Nate here bringing you actually a Flash bonus video because you know, a lot of you subscribe to me because of the Flash so I decided, hey, let's make a bonus video. So this bonus video is going to be mostly about my personal reverse Flash theory and you guys of course can speculate down in the comments. I appreciate reading it because I'm able to add some of your theories onto mine. Sometimes just like break down mine and use yours because you know, fun times everywhere because it's always fun theory crafting because that's, let's be honest, that's really fun. Because when you get your theory right, you feel like really awesome because you predicted it. But when you get your theory wrong, you're like, oh, I should have thought of this and that. Anyway, let's get on with my own personal Flash, reverse Flash theory. Of course, I'm, I am going to be spoiling the mid-season finale. So if you haven't seen it, uh, I recommend clicking off. All right, starting off, I believe there are two reverse Flashes. One being Eddie Thon, a future, the future version of Eddie Thon, and the other one being Harrison Wells. Now, in comic book history, there are actually four reverse Flashes, but we're, we're only going to focus on two for this video. Uh, one being the Hunter Zolomon uh, reverse Flash, and the other being the Professor Zoom uh, Eobar slash Eobar Thon reverse Flash. But the thing that CW did is, or at least what I think they did, is that they switched like the characteristics and some of the stuff that makes those reverse flashes themselves, uh, like they switch them with each other. Like the reverse flash that we saw during the mid-season finale, he he has red eyes, right? And there's only one reverse flash that has red eyes exactly like that. And that reverse flash is the Hunter Zolomon uh, reverse flash. Not only that, uh, I believe, I forgot who states it, I think it was Cisco or either Harrison Wells himself, he says that the reverse flash is actually faster than our than the Flash, and I believe that he's not actually faster, but the one of the characteristics of the Hunter's Element Reverse Flash is that he he can like slow down slow down time around him, making it look like he's faster. Therefore, he's able to look like he's faster than the Flash. And not only that, before the Hunter's Element Reverse Flash became uh became the Reverse Flash himself, he was actually a police officer or a police profiler to be more specific, but a police officer nonetheless. And what's Eddie right now? A police officer. And what leads me to this theory is that right now in the show, Eddie Eddie Thon, our Iris's boyfriend, does not like the Flash. He he created a task force and pretty much he just doesn't like him. Not only that, when we see the reverse flash in the mid season finale, we see him like he he looks straight into into Eddie himself and just he stares at him for way too long and he doesn't kill him that's the thing and Eddie even mentions that uh, when he's talking to Joe so what I'm trying to say is that Eddie Thon detective Eddie Thon is the Hunter Zolomon reverse flash but from the future now moving on to Harrison Wells and which reverse flash he is I believe Harrison Wells is the first reverse flash being the professor zoom reverse flash now earlier I said that the that CW like switched the characteristics and this is what I meant because the Professor Zoom Reverse Flash, the very first one, is actually Eobar Thon, hence like Eddie Thon and stuff like that. But I think they switched it on purpose to make it more confusing. But for now, let's just call him Professor Zoom. And I believe he's going to actually give him that, uh, like Cisco's going to make something for Harrison Wells' wheelchair. And they're going to call him like Professor Zoom because he, like, he's going fast on his wheelchair. Because, you know, he's already a doctor and all that. And I feel like that might happen just for like, for like comedic stuff. Not only that, but one of the key characteristics of the Professor Zoom Reverse Flash is that he looks like Barry Allen. And doesn't Harrison Wells look kind of similar to Grant Gustin, just like freaking a little bit older? Not only that, uh, one of the key characteristics of the uh, Professor Zoom Reverse Flash that he's he's really smart. He has enhanced intelli intelligence. That and Harrison Wells is a smart guy. He he, he like he, he knows how to plan things out. So that's what makes me think that he's actually the Professor Zoom Reverse Flash. And there's one key thing that they actually did. Like they, they took a characteristic from uh, the Hunter Zolomon Reverse Flash and brought it over to the Professor Zoom Reverse Flash. And that being that Hunter Zolomon in the comics, he wants to make the Flash a better hero. And he does that by creating tragedy around him. Because he believes that creating tragedy around the Flash will make him a better hero. And I believe that they're they're pushing that like ideal like that motive onto the professor zoom onto harrison wells because we see harrison wells protecting barry no matter what like what he i believe he killed the dude in like the second season or the second episode where he like stabbed a dude now i'm going to show an image right here on the screen and it's from the pilot and you can see uh when they show the reverse flash he doesn't have red eyes 
thinking that Harrison Wells is the one who killed Barry's mother. And also, uh, Cisco made a theory uh, that during the night when Barry's mom died, that there were two there were two speedsters, one with red lightning following them and one with yellow lightning. Now, because like during the mid-season finale, when the Flash and Reverse Flash were going against each other, they were giving off like the reverse like Flash was giving off like orange uh, like an orange wave, and uh, Reverse Flash was giving off like a red wave. Now, this might be just like like uh, a special effects thing, but like during the pilot, it's like definitely yellow and red. Anyway, when Barry's brought outside, uh, like three blocks away from his house, it's because of a yellow blur, not a red one. So I'm assuming they're trying to imply that the reverse flash brought him out there and not the uh, future flash. Thus making uh, Harrison Wells a more likely candidate of the flash that, of the reverse flash that killed Barry's mother. Because he's trying to create, make Barry a better hero by, co by giving him tragedy in his life. So just to wrap it up all up, uh, what I think is uh, future Eddie Thawne is the Hunter's Element Reverse Flash that's working with Harrison. And Harrison is the Professor Zoom Reverse Flash trying to make Barry a better hero. But anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching. Remember, this is my own theory. Post your theories down in the comments. I, will, I love reading them because they give me ideas and try to make me branch off with other uh, theories and whatnot. Don't forget to rate and subscribe because it makes me feel good to see that people are actually watching the videos I put up on the interwebs. And until, I believe, uh, next week for you Flash fans, I think I'm going to do a video about all the casting and who they cast for the rogues. And all of the casting, like Mark Hamill being the trickster and all of that whatnot. But if you're, Arrow, if you're, if you're here for everything, I believe Parasite review coming up tomorrow. Uh, an Arrow bonus video should be coming up tomorrow as well. So until then, bye.